What's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. What's up? Let's do a little video here. Let's get something started. I got a little idea here, a landscape that I, I want to work on. And so here we go, let's see what this looks like. Let's do this. So the way I'm gonna start this is by creating a few, a few, just a few lines. We're gonna do a few line work right here. Just to kind of um, get an idea for the composition and and the general design of the painting now if you'd like to learn more about how I do this more in depth I do teach classes uh, it's $20 a month the subscription and you pretty much get all of my classes uh, plus two new new workshops every month. Uh, I'm teaching everything from marketing to to painting and drawing. Everything that I know, basically, as a full-time artist, is going to be included in those classes. And you can watch them at any time, so you can stream them whenever you feel uh, whenever you feel like it. So that's my basic idea of this landscape. And now we're gonna get some blue. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there, just a little bit. With a palette knife, of course. Look at that. Super cool. It's so simple too. The simplicity of it really is what I'm most attracted to when it comes to any type of work. It's the whole thing is about simplicity. Just like that. I'm gonna move on with another color just to put our, our earth tones. So I wanna put some earth tones in there. My earth tones are gonna to consist of yellow, red, black, and we're gonna start shading them or tinting them with a little bit of light blue. We can go either way, we can shade or tint that mix to make my my browns and my burnt sienas. Look at that. Ain't it cool? And again, I'm gonna get some more yellow, red, and a little bit of black, not too much, just enough to uh, make the color pretty rich.
I feel like we can get some of that. Some of the same mix that we have. Add some black to it and make a really, really, really nice rich gray. Very dark gray. Almost almost a, a, a Batman. Batman, uh, what is it? A Batman black. It's a very dark gray. That's what I've been hearing. Some people call the, the those really, uh, really new cars that look like they're primed. They call them, they call it the Batman black color. Sound like a mat. Hey, what's up, Jay? How's it going, my man? Super, super simple. Look at that. I mean, you can make it as, as complicated as you as you wish, but the thing the thing is really simple. You know, you're doing a painting. You can you can go as complicated as your little heart tells you to. I'm gonna get some dark blue. I'm gonna get some of that same color that I've been using, but I'm gonna add blue to it and a little bit of white. This I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna make that indigo. Color theory is very, very important, my friends. When you're you're doing any any of this type of work, color theory is the shit when it comes to painting like this. Um, if you miss some color theory, uh, you're really gonna have to look into it. To because because what it does is uh, it gives you freedom because it gives you choices. You know the more the more you understand about mixing color, the more choices you got. Choices are always good when it comes to painting. Start, starts moving from an indigo to a cyan little by little to cyan blue into an aqua if you want to but without without not without knowing how to mix them it's it's difficult right so this is uh, one of the fundamental things to, to, to learn is uh, a little bit about drawing, a little composition, and a little color theory, and you're 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 pretty much golden. I've, I've seen way too many artists avoid avoid those things, and so so they limit themselves really a lot. So when I say when I say th things like uh, this is really simple, I get messages that are like, "Well, it's simple to you, but it's not to me. I can't draw." I'm like, "Well, it would be simple if you learn how to draw a little bit." It becomes very simple once you know a few of the fundamentals. Just a, just a few. You don't need to know a lot. Just a few things. You don't need to master them either. But it does require work. The first part of my career was learning about drawing, composition, color, texture. Very, very important.
and it gets neglected. It gets neglected, um, especially in in contemporary art. A lot of the stuff gets neglected, and I um, I'm always trying to communicate. It's not as important as it used to be a hundred years ago, but fuck, man, it's still important. Like you, you still have to pay attention to that. It's still important. Drawing's still important, even 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 if you're not you're not doing probably especially if you're not doing anything figurative if you're doing abstract work you'll notice that the people that do better abstract work are people that can draw better there's something to it there's something to know some of those some of those foundations I think it's the choices really it gives you choices Everybody likes choices. Okay, now I'm going to start working on my sky, but I want to make it a little bit lemony to start out with. Literally a lemon sky right here, look. Then add a little bit of pink. Look at that. Super simple, super easy, actually, super easy. Some stuff is easier than, than other stuff. Because I, I think also the part of the key is to enjoy it. You know, enjoy what you're doing. Just have some fun with it. Getting to the groove. See that? Just get into the groove. It gets easier and easier the more you do it.
Yeah, baby. Oh, thank you. Muchas gracias, Rosario. Lo agradezco mucho. Thank you. Look at that. Super simple. Just... Nothing complicated about it. Maybe there's a little tree by itself right here. There's another little tree right there too. Who knows, you know, all kinds of little trees. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. See, and then we can add something else over here. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. There we go. Some little trees up start appearing. Because not, not all of it is going to be the same, right? There's going to be some little trees, some little bushes. Different stuff happens, you know, it's not all the same.
Boom, baby. Oh, thank you so much. It is easy. It's not that difficult. It is pretty easy. Look at that. BEA beautiful. I'm gonna sign my name right here because I think I deserve to sign my name there. Boom. How's it going, Ellie? What's up? Lena, Meryl. Rosario, who else? KPD95, Jen, Jen Florentin Art, love that name, Jen Florentin. My dad's name's Florentin in Spanish, Florentino. Jay, what's up? Uh, my friends, that's that for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll come back and I'll do another one. All right? Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.